by a, it's a good rugged computer. There's nothing wrong with it, but you wouldn't want to put it in a dishwasher. You probably wouldn't want to even carry it out in the rain. You know, a lot of what goes wrong, and you know this because you work on these, is this hinge. There's an electrical connection in there, and that, because of the torque on the hinge, can break, and then you start losing the screen. The screen may be fine. It's just the electrical connection. But look at all. You see the problem with water. Look at all the openings, the cracks, the crevices, anything that gets. So we would have to make a computer that had no CD-ROM, right? Because if this could open, water go right in there, right? We'd have to make a computer that had no openings in the key. This would be very hard. Well, they have made some kind of like this. We have two of the best known ones. Panasonic probably gets uh, most of the press because they're a big company. This is their, this is, they call this the tough book. And this is a, this is a ruggedized computer. Now, they're about, they start at 3,000. Um, they're a little more expensive. Actually, I really like this computer because it's, it's, first of all, it's tiny. This is more like the libretto size, if you've seen that Toshiba libretto. It is, uh, and it has a, this is a touch screen. I don't, I, I don't know if it's on, so I can't uh, show you the touch screen. And now, you probably wouldn't put this in a dishwasher. I don't know of any computer you would. I mean, if you're going to do that, you're going to have to do some extra sealing around it and so forth. But you can drop this. You can get it wet. It's pretty, I mean, it's designed for, I'll tell you, their biggest market is uh, in the police uh, cars. Uh, where they can get pretty beat up. And, and, and that, you know, if you've ever uh, fixed a, a computer from a police car, you know, uh, bullet holes, all sorts of stuff. So this is one. And I had another one. This is, I don't know where it's, where it's gone. Oh, I'm standing on it. Oh, okay. Whoops. Hope they don't mind. Ah. This, is, this is a little more rugged. This is a, I'd say almost 10 pounds. This is the Dolch. I like this company a lot. They make heavy-duty equipment. Look at it. I mean, it looks... It looks tough. They use modern materials that are shock resistant, um, extra heavy duty hinges. You were talking about the screen, the hinges. This is very tough. You can put a lot of torque into this. You can stand on it. But they even say it can take water. Both of these could take water. And you know what? I thought it'd be kind of fun to try it. You, you want to try it? Sure. Sh sure. Should I get it? <laughs> it might be. They told us if you break it, you bought it. So um, let's, Chris, come on in here. Chris is going to help me. Um, I got it on here. There it is. Okay, it's on. Chris has the watering can. Okay. And Greg, uh, I think we probably should have uh, this because I don't want to uh, get this all over the place. Anything else we might want to... All right, let's 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 just... We're going to... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 let me right. this down. Oh, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Greg, my floor director, really is a little nervous about this. I'm going to put this in here. And uh, now they said, here's the limitations they said. What do they say, Chris? You can't put more than a liter of water. A liter. And they had some limitations about the pressure, right? You don't want to squirt this with a fire hose, okay? But watch. Now, we're going to... Okay, let me, let me do this. I'm going to be wet for the rest of the show if I'm not careful. Okay, go ahead. Pour some water on here. I've got a waterproof watch. I should be all right. Let's see if I can... Oh, gosh, I hate this. Oh, man. Chris, if you break it, you bought it. Um... The mouse is, that's enough, that's enough. Mouse is still moving. Uh, it still seems to be working. Let me, uh, oh man, you got it all wow. wet. Oh man. Okay, well it didn't fry yet. Can you see the mouse? I can't, I can't see it. Well, anyway, I think it did work. This is, this is for using in the elements, basically. You probably wouldn't want to take it on a submarine under the water. Um, boy, it's wet. Uh, but these things do it. These are ruggedized computers. I think uh, Dolch and Panasonic are the best known. This one's about $5,000. Um, pretty heavy duty and nice machine. Notice they both use touch pads. Uh, you know, I can see they're not completely sealed around the edges here. Maybe it is on the inside. You'd, you'd, the mouse clicking, all of that, that's where water can get in. So I'm not sure you'd really want to, yeah, see that? Look at that. I'm not sure uh, you'd really want to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, why don't you take this, see if you can get it to work. <laughs> I <laughs>